Hello everybody and what is up? The one and only Seek and Destroy here and we're here with a let's look at how to install a tutorial I guess of how to install custom maps on Dota 2. A lot of people were kind of disappointed when Dota 2 mod uh, shut down. Right now they have a tutorial on kind of how to do this however it's uh, I think you even have to translate it or something like that just to uh, be able to read it. So we're going to go over this real quick, and I'm going to try to make this as easy and painless as possible. Maybe not painless, I don't know. It depends on um, my skill, I guess, as a host and your skill uh, with your computer. But we'll go step by step on this. So first thing we're going to do is under our main screen here, I'm going to click on Steam up in the upper left hand corner, and go down to Settings. Under Account, I'm going to click right here, Beta Participation. You're going to click and change this. It's um, set as default to opt out of all beta programs. We're going to change that over to Steam Beta Update. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to sit here for a minute and let everything change over. It will ask you to restart Steam. Uh, go ahead and do it when it asks. And it'll bring you back to this page right here. Same page we started at. It. From there, we're going to go over to Library. Go down to Tools. So from the tools, you're going to go down here to Dota 2 Workshop Tools Alpha. It's 180 megabytes to download. We're going to go ahead and download that. Once it's done downloading, go back to Games. And there you go. So a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, well, I already have this because it's already listed from my DLC tab. And I think it starts out with regular... Uh, Dota 2 Workshop Tools, the Alpha has the custom maps in it, so you have to use it separately. So make sure you download that, uh, make sure you download the Alpha Tools and do not skip that step or it will not work. So from there, I'm going to go to Community. So we already have it up, but I'll show you guys how to do it. And go to Workshop, under Community, there we go. Type in Dota 2. Click right there, and it's going to pull up the Dota 2 Workshop page. I'm going to click on the Custom Games tab, and here are all your custom games, stuff like that. Uh, we'll use Pudge Wars as our example. Yeah, yeah as our example, that's the right word. Yep, yeah. so we're going to click on Pudge Wars. There we go. So. Under here, there's no actual download. It's a subscribe button. I'll unsubscribe real quick, and then click subscribe. Uh, this link has been added to your subscription. Some games will require you to relaunch them before the items will download. If you have Dota 2 up, make sure it's down. It will add under your library a quick update for Dota. Not a big deal. Let it update. Go back into Dota. So from here, which is your standard Dota screen. You're going to have this tab at the uh, towards the bottom says Custom Games. Those of you that don't have anything enabled, it's probably been grayed out the whole time. Something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> I downloaded it and that was kind of it. So go down to Custom Games. And uh, generally you'd have Friends Lobbies. If Friends have games, uh, Pudge Wars games up, you can join those, of course. But if you're hosting yourself, you're going to go down to Subscribe subscribe game modes click on that i'm going to go to pudge wars create a lobby local game is hosted on your machine system requirements are higher than hosting a local game if you have bad internet have someone else host it if you have a crappy computer have someone else host it go ahead and click create just type in random letters there we go so lobby's up and from there, you'd have everybody join, and you'd be able to go in. I am going to show you guys, for those of you that don't have a lot of people and kind of relied on the lobby part, you do have to add people as friends to join their games and stuff like that, because it's only done under private. However, all you have to do is type in custom, and you'll find this right here, custom maps. Click on join, and all you do is join this custom maps channel. Plus buttons right here. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with how to uh, change chat menus and stuff like that if you played any amount of Dota. So under custom maps, 
There are 270-something in here. And it's a little dead because we're recording this pretty early in the morning. But this is the way that you can find people to play with and otherwise join. So we are going to start this game real quick just to prove that it works. But other than that... Okay, come on. Being slow. Other than that, though, it's a pretty simple process. Honestly, it's it's a little bit easier than Dota 2 Mod was. There's no third-party software, so it's all done through Steam. It's a little more trusted, a little better. I, personally, am happy that they have it. However, I'm sure a lot of you guys, you know, change is bad, etc., etc. Now there's another couple of steps to go through. But once you do it, you know, what's the big deal? Uh, they also offer a ton, and I do mean a ton of games, a lot of old Warcraft 3 games and other things, and a lot of different custom maps that you just wouldn't expect. So, there you go, Pudge Wars. From here you would be picking, of course, not many options there, pick Pudge, and it gives you the option how many to play up to, all that. There you go. So from there, you throw your hooks, you do your thing, and... Boom, boom, boom. There's Pudge. All right, guys. Well, I do hope you guys enjoy, and I do hope this was informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I will get to them as quick as possible. Hopefully, though, I've explained it enough that you guys won't have any issues. So, as always, guys, if you enjoy this, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.